Hello there, and we are back with another series in Timberborn. It has honestly been too long since we uh, properly played this one. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty happy that we managed to sort of close out the last one. But uh, but yeah, let's uh, jump straight into into this one. So I was pretty surprised. We had a bit of a vote on uh, on YouTube about what kind of a map should we should we really do. And there was two options. There was one for the challenge map, which would be a bit of a trickier landscape I mean, with a bit of a you know very specific purpose to survive and the other one was uh, our usual style which is a bit of a more relaxed build and uh, i think most of you if i'm not mistaken i have to quickly double check real quick and yeah 33 percent of you out of 235 votes went for the challenge map and 67 percent of you chose the relaxed map option so thank you very much for voting and here's the map that i have chosen out so Let's go through the map real quick. It's called the Golden Vale by MP from Netherlands. And I think, well, I'm assuming that NL stands for Netherlands, of course. But it is a quite a interesting map that I found online that is up to date. All the other interesting maps um, that I really wanted to try were unfortunately not updated very recently. So we couldn't choose anything else. Okay, so essentially, uh, let's see. We're pretty zoomed out now. Unfortunately, we can't go any any more than that. And essentially, we have this mountain range right in the middle with a couple of uh, water sources right at the top. So the water flows both ways. And on the, let's start with the right side first. We've got a couple of lakes and, well, river systems, kind of lakes in here in the middle. And the water flows out from three locations, sorry, four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, got a few highlands here, peninsulas and pretty lovely location we've got quite a bit of metal as well oh actually it appears there is a bit more metal here because when i looked at this map i totally missed this one well probably because my water was uh, not hidden so yeah i didn't see this one so another water source here we can climb up is this a water source yes it is very interesting okay Okay, so it flows kind of behind, but also to the front. Okay, well, I'm glad there's another another mine over there, because I thought this one here is the only one on the map, and I was pretty sad. Okay, so right in the middle, down that corner over there, similar setup. We've got some water sources, and they go to the both sides of the map as well. And far in the corner towards here, same thing couple of water sources and water again flowing both ways and on this side of the map which is also the our our starting location we have uh, three exits for the for the water one over here and two to the left side of the map so one up there and one right here so damming this area off will be a bit trickier than usual i'd say with the with the maps that come with the game but yeah so two mines which is great and a bit of a funky way how he's already or she has already designed this map so he's uh, the person has been very generous and uh, left us a few little canals over here which will hopefully help us keep it a bit more fertile for longer so now that the map is done let's go through quickly the mods that we are using as well because of course we do have to use some some mods in this game uh, to make it interesting a bit more different i i suppose most of them are quality of life though so starting we have simple floodgate triggers so that should hopefully allow us to set up a bit of automation because once we have many quite a few floodgates let's put it this way it's just very tedious and boring to go through everything every single one of them that we have on the map we also have a category button which uh, if we go over here let's see landscaping then uh, we'll be able to hide you know have subcategories essentially damn decorations i wish i could open this up but essentially there's some more pieces to make it look a bit more funky and um, we have some more staircases right under here a few different ones uh, left or right so spiral staircases and then we have a decoration which gives a bit of a decoration or the morale boost as well and we also have a ladder i'm pretty sure that one day uh, they will also do ladders for uh, for this game, the um, developers, I mean. Uh, then with the warehouses, we'll be also able, let's say, if we put this down here, we'll be uh, able to set the desired number here. 
as a maximum amount. So for example, if we wanted 50 berries, oh, sorry, let's say we only want 10 berries, uh, yep, 10 bread and 10 carrots. So they will not put uh, 11 or more berries in here. This will be as the maximum amount allowed. And then from our previous runs as well, we do have the extended architecture. And let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have separated the raw food materials here as well. And that one is food materials, top bar. And then next one we have, well, actually, sorry, almost skipped that one. Uh, essentially what it does is uh, it should display all the raw materials that beavers cannot eat, but they're kind of part of the resources, but it's just, just a separate category there. We also have a status hider. If I can bring this up, let's see, status hider option. So we've got a few options here what sort of notifications we don't want to see. And the first one I did was warehouse full, of course. And if anything else becomes annoying, we can turn off all sorts of things in via this menu. Okay, moving on, what else do we have? Extended floodgate. So the game allows us to go from one, two or three, but we should have an option here. Uh, floodgates, metal floodgates. Okay, uh, so seven, eight, nine or ten. So that should be pretty cool. Of course, it's going to take a few more resources as well. But, you know, towards end game, it will be more handy to have some of those bigger ones, especially for longer droughts. All right, what else do we have? Uh, we are not using unified factions, so we're just going with the with the folktales. I thought, well, since it is a new update, at least for me, I know everyone else has probably been been playing this for quite some time i thought we'll go uh, you know with one of the factions only and and see what it's like all right so what do we have we have mirror buildings so essentially uh it's well, well house is a bad example but uh, it works for other buildings as well if i press f it's gonna change the orientation so that helps us with some more different kind of build styles that we're doing. And sometimes it is just really annoying where the door is. So this mod will help us to change things up a little bit. And then power management, we have vertical power shafts, actually quite a few of them that allow us to go in different directions. So instead of building those very not so good looking stairs of power shafts, we can now go straight up. And then we also should have some more platforms here as well. Oh, yep, there we go. Side platforms, uh, reinforced platforms, which I actually didn't try out in my test run. And then some more funky ones. I don't think we're going to use them because they seem like a bit of a cheat, it seems. They kind of, if you start placing them on the mountainside, they start floating in the air if you delete the first ones that are still attached to the mountain. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave them. But then again, who knows? It might be uh, might be worth trying, uh, getting a bit more creative over here. All right, and then we have the draggable utilities. No, we don't, maybe. Okay, yeah. And uh, I think we have a ferry's wheel somewhere here as well. Yes, we do, okay. That requires 500 hamster power and 16 visitors. So it's kind of like an alternative to the uh, carousel. A few more beavers, a few more resources perhaps as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually much more affordable perhaps if we don't have a middle straight away so just a different option cost quite a bit of science and yeah so that's uh, that's all the mods that we have so let's get right into the game now sorry it's taking so long but it's i think it's pretty important just to go through and make sure everyone understands what we and uh, what we have in here so for the um, sort of episodes in general um, um i'm still deciding how much i got out and how much i do sort of like offline as well so we'll, we'll we'll see how it goes maybe some episodes will show a bit more of what be what's being built and uh whatnot but uh i think for now so we yeah let's uh, let's do the first episode where we sort of show everything right so right at the start we are gonna need quite a lot of trees so we'll just do something like so we'll um delete this area later so it's it's absolutely fine but as usual, our main goal is to get the forest there. And you know what? We'll um, just highlight this whole area in here as well. I'm not too bothered with these trees, I think. Yeah. Uh, one thing that, that I did forget to mention, we are on the hard mode, which uh, I, I mean, it's been a while since I've really, you know, played this game properly. But I, th I think we'll, uh, we'll still be able to you know, grind through the early game. 
I should be able to remember a few things, I, I suppose. Okay, so let's see. We are going to need wood straight away. So we'll do... <laughs> so you are the furthest. Right, let's put a couple here. I want to make sure that these guys can reach all the way there as well. Maybe something like this. Okay, a couple more build the beavers and we are ready to start. I do actually want them... Oh, do you know what? It might be fine. Let me think. It would be best if they clear up one of these areas here first. Let's drag you through as well. Oh, wait a second. They're too wide. Ah, that's okay. It will change in the future anyway. So this is just temporary stuff. Okay, so how about we pause the construction of these few and if we strategically place you somewhere here maybe we can get these built a little bit quicker okay as soon as they start gathering wood our next goal will be water and that will be placed somewhere here as soon as these trees are gone okay so that's that's fine uh, how many beavers we have uh, just one as soon as another one is constructed i think yeah we can take one of you out two of you out and there's six now one is still jobless but that's okay okay two builders in here which we guess we don't need so we could give you the lowest of priorities actually i was supposed to make it for working well there we go all right please construct these two as well and as soon as two of them are done we'll pause this building and let them start cutting some of those trees down this will be the area where the road goes but this tree ah uh, it's on the wrong side can you take this one down as well please okay very good so that's the next one and let's reduce you to one <laughs> okay there we go this one here could also do a farm how many 25 locks no water is a bit more important we have enough berries in here and we can also get some more all right there we go so this is one of those buildings that we cannot really you know change the door but if i press f there we go it goes right there okay and we'll just put a road there as well so that should be good i'm not even sure if we are gonna need you but do you know what lowest priority let's do something like this for now so this means tomorrow the same beaver can start yeah, that should be fine. All right, so we're going to skip the first night and we'll be back any second. And here we go. Now, next thing, now that we have water going, we are going to need a bit of science as well. And for that, uh, these roads are a little bit annoying, aren't they? Okay, how we, how about we change this up just a little bit? We'll do one science building, let's say right about here. We still have four beavers that are about to grow up, so that's okay. Food is fine as well. Water is going slowly, but there should be enough. And then the next one will be really want to start getting their, what's it called, well-being up. Yep. We are going to need, oh, shelter. Okay, yeah. Going to have to build some houses as well. Let's uh, speed it up just a little bit. And put a road in here. Our farmhouse and this side is a little bit bigger. Do you know what? I don't think it matters too much. Yep, let's do um let's do a farm here. Let's say it's gonna be on this side. Is the water okay, it's kind of flowing in, but not really. So essentially what we have want to do here, because there are some natural barriers. I'm thinking, well, we're not gonna reach to the end of the maps just to block this area off so what we're gonna have to do is i'm thinking maybe block it off or dam it in hmm, short term probably from here and maybe somewhere around here as well maybe even some right about here actually because that could also be our bridge to cross to the other side yep that could be an option and then long term, we could also block it off right about here, right about somewhere there. Depends on how far we can get. Get rid of those barriers and that way this is like a one big system here. Uh, anyone in here? Well, unfortunately we are going to need someone 
pretty sure we're gonna need someone there all right get this farm going as well logs wise we are pretty okay let's quickly check what we are gonna need so for the forester we need seven planks for this we're gonna need let's see your range is pretty big okay so not too worried uh, let's do we'll pause you and for power let's do a power wheel other way around okay there we go we'll pause them for the time being and you okay you're constructing the farm so that's fine we'll leave you in we are gonna need quite a bit of science uh, how many do we need 60 okay okay this might be fine and how many do you do one per hour okay so if our day was oh only 10 so i think we might need um need to speed it up a little bit actually 12 of those though hmm decisions water we do have enough water okay that's fine we are okay um yeah i do want this to be done a little bit quicker so how about one beaver and carrots we can get pretty quickly can't we yeah maybe we leave like a bit of storage space in here and for other buildings as well so how about something like so and then potatoes do you know what we can uh, we can fill this space yeah i know it's a bit of an overkill but it's okay just plant as many as you can all right another night so let's skip this one as well and we'll be back in the morning all right seems our first drought is in about uh, three days so i think i yes i am a little bit worried about the water situation so it wouldn't be a bad idea just to build this water tank in here but you know what we shall pause you and maybe prioritize the water tank instead well 51 of these in the bank right now so storage it would be useful if we <laughs> let's see two do we need to build another one do you know what no it's okay I think one of these is going to be A-OK. -okay. Yep, and the forester can be perhaps maybe somewhere on this side. There's plenty of land to plant all of those and we could also get rid of the berries as well when the time is right. Okay, are you filling up a little bit? Yes, you are. That's good. We got the storage now and the second inventor building as well. So everything should be flowing pretty, pretty OK. And another night, so let's skip that one as well and we'll be back in the morning. Okay, here we go. Now our uh, next goal. Uh, let's see, how many? 25 science. But these beavers are going to need a, need a house as well. So let's uh, put a couple in here. We'll slowly start building them. We do have, what is it? 11 beavers. Okay, yep. We are going to have to increase the population rather quickly, should I say. And um, yeah, I've thought about a little bit about what to do with these areas as well. So what I was thinking, <laughs> I think early game we'll use them as our farming plots. Uh, it just makes sense. But in the future, I'm thinking this could be like the sort of peninsula where the uh, district center is with a bit of high rise as well. And then in the future, the farms will probably go around this area or across the river over that side. Okay, some beavers should have their houses now. How are you going? You've planted pretty much everything. Okay. Ooh, yikes, food is an issue. So let's put someone there. Don't think we're gonna starve just yet, but um, yeah, nearly forgot about this one. Uh, now, another cool thing here is we got some automation and let's say we shall pause you when the drought starts and unpause you when the drought ends. Uh, I actually don't know if that's part of the base game, Although I doubt it. I think it came from one of the mods. So, so yeah, it, it's definitely something that would be great to have in the base game though. All right, another night. Let's skip this one again. And the drought should be here very soon. Okay, here we go. Another day and we are almost ready to get the forester unlocked. So I sort of forgot to. Let's do a couple more builders. I forgot to build them. And... Hmm. Maybe give you a slightly higher priority. So get these built as quick as we can, please. And then I'll start pausing some of these buildings. Yeah, these ones we can probably get rid of. Okay, there we go. Can we maybe give you a high priority? 
There we go. Okay, things are going. Now, houses. Still a couple of beavers without one. So, how about we temporarily just place you... I guess here is fine. Yep, let's do that. And we'll give you a road as well, so you're connected. We definitely, definitely want to boost this uh, population as quickly as we can. And uh, I'm sure we'll be able to catch up with the uh, food requirements as well. Do you know what? Since you're not really harvesting anything right now why don't you just put up a few more carrots all over the place yep that will be fine okay let's see we'll unlock we'll unlock you and oh you got nothing in here and this seems like a great location in my opinion yep uh maples uh actually i think the closest now okay so you're gonna be this then the pine trees. We can put a couple around this area. we we'll leave the middle area free because that's where the road is going to go. Okay, there we go. We can resume the time now. And I think, yeah, maybe about here. You can all be maples. I think that should be fine, right? Yeah. And what you should... Oh, we can't select oh yes we can blueberries mm -hmm. we want birch trees okay there we go 0 0.3 days until the drought starts and things are okay aren't they we got a couple of spare beds so we should get a few more beaver babies very very shortly and they've got a bit of well-being already as well so that's great that should go up as soon as we get the carrots and how many days Okay, 40% already. As soon as that is done, we can go for the grill. Maybe just put a temporary one, I don't know, somewhere here. We'll uh, fit it in, not to worry. Our next goal will be... I think it's going to be levees and dams, right? So we have access to... oh, the dams. Hmm. 120 science points. Okay, well that's alright. Uh, let's speed it up just a little bit. How many planks do we have already? Ooh, okay, a couple. Not a lot of logs. You've already... Oh, no, there's still a few to farm over here. Oh, well-being, level three. Uh, food, nothing. Do you know what? I think it's a bit of an emergency right now. Yep. I am going to have to change up some of those priorities very soon. And you guys... Oh, I do need to leave one beaver there because I do want that forest there going as soon as possible yep so let's try and get as many berries as we can 4.8 ooh uh, we'll die in 9.7 days okay so not to worry i think we'll be fine yep plenty of berries to get from here uh forester is up now so that is great we can boss the two of you okay we do have a forester so that's fantastic and birch trees there we go Ah, uh, okie dokie. So, yeah, and look, the water pump has the water pump has automatically paused itself as well, so that's great. Now let's uh, let us make a bit of space in here. Let's get rid of those berries there. And I think as soon as you are done, we can pause you now, right? Yeah, you're not needed anymore. So, start cutting down those trees over there. And with the rest, ah, uh, shame about those potatoes and some of those carrots as well. But, um, let's see, 1.2, yep, they are definitely going to expire. Hmm, well, I guess what we could do is, why don't we just make some more carrots? Yep, that's the uh, easy solution. And um, with the potatoes uh, over here, why don't we add a few more as well? Okay, there we go. How are the trees going? Few are in already. Uh, wonderful. Okay. And food numbers are now up. Carrots are coming online as well. Have I forgotten something? Probably the answer is yes. But <laughs> we're going to need quite a lot of logs. And I'm not entirely sure if we too want to start putting down all these levees. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay, still have a couple of beds, and I think we've had additional two beavers that have joined or have born into our colony. 
Water is already out. Oh, oh dear. That's going to be a problem. Yep. So. Ooh, okay. Uh, science points. We have a little bit. So, do we have four planks though? No, we don't. Okay, that's going to be a priority. The highest one. We are going to have to... <laughs> Let's see, if we do, I think it's going to have to go somewhere here, right? Oh dear. Okay. That seems like a good location. Yep, reaches all the way to the bottom. And what we can do, if they get rid of this tree, we could do a staircase that goes down. Okay. If not, we're going to have to... Hmm. Okay, let's see. Waste a few planks and get it done straight away. Probably. Okay, unpause you. We have enough food. So let us pause you as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Mistakes were made right at the start. Hopefully that's not going to be the end of this series right away. Okay, how many planks do you need? Let's do a few more builders. Yep. Get those planks as quick as you can. This is the highest of priorities. Come on, guys. Okay. Are we bringing those planks? Another one's being made. Third one. Is the fourth one ready? Yes. And then we're just going to have to bring 12 logs. We have plenty of logs, so that's good. Ooh, okay, okay. I guess we should have made... Two water pumps at the start. Yep. There we go. Well, let's see. Can we get this built if we make their work days a little bit longer? Okay, couple are in. We'll speed it up. Six, ten, and the last two. All right. Let's hope no one's going to expire and we're not really building anything anymore. Make a few more blanks in case we miss it, in case we made another mistake somewhere. Yeah, we kind of blocked ourselves in now, but that's okay. All right, here comes the water. Okay, it's definitely not enough, but few thirsty beavers still left in the colony. Well, let's see how this goes. We're not gonna pause it just now. Let's see them get through the night. And I'm thinking we might have to waste a few more logs, don't we? Where shall we put it though? Very tricky with the uh, landscape in here. Yeah, we've definitely kind of blocked ourselves in here, haven't we? Okay, we've got a spot over here. Uh, let's do another emergency one. Construction site, we don't have any beavers. Yep, get in there. Get this built, please. And the highest priority. Are we able to keep up? I think we are a bit of a bit of a setback but I think we'll be able to recover look at this yep okay construction builders uh, beavers I mean you can go I think we've recovered 1.5 days until the drought is over uh, so yeah well being's gone up as well that's uh, that's a bit funny but yep we'll take it and everything else trees are going up slowly all right so that's good yeah, we can close you out and let's see what else we can do. I think for starters, we probably want to improve our water situation here. Something like this should be fine, but we'll build it a little bit later. I think first we probably want to check out how long till these trees... Okay, so halfway through and we still got a few trees around the area. So, okay, some more maples in here food is coming up as well and I think now is a good time uh, let's spin you around and right about there we'll get some potatoes grilled potatoes there we go all right takes a uh, 25 planks but that should be fine and uh, with the rest you guys are empty right no logs in here okay these can be deleted, removed. We still got one bed space and one vacant workplace. And I think once um, once the drought ends, uh, these two beavers will be available again as well. 
and now I'm just thinking when is going to be the right time to start building the dam over here. I mean, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be very soon. Uh, 120, okay, so we're not too close. Uh, that's great. Here comes the water, our savior. Are you guys still online? Yes, you are. Okay, you guys are still fine. Get some medicine from here in the future. I think what might be useful is having a second beaver. Oh, we do have to construct the, uh, let's see, you over here. But also, maybe this isn't so necessary anymore. I mean, we are, we do have those water pumps in here, so that might be fine. Yeah, how many blanks? Okay, you guys can be taken out from here as well. And things should be fine. All right, bit of a crisis in the first episode. But we're, uh, it, it's not the end of the series right away, so that's, uh, that's very good. Uh, I have to admit, I was quite worried. Yep, that's, that's true. Uh, what I'm also thinking, do we need another water tank? I think not, because we have those pumps in there, and we're not going to get a super long drought straight away. So let's go with grilling those potatoes. It, it would be beneficial to have another beaver here. And the rest, uh, water is flowing in already as well. So I think we're we're okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, our next goals uh, will be uh, to dam and block this water in here. We will have to climb down. Oh, we we'll probably have to create another road from here, unless we remove this water pump, because we're gonna have to walk through, build a bit of a dam in there, and same in this location as well. We do have enough. Uh, what is it, levy uh, science points now. So yeah, let's plant it somewhere here, like so for the beavers. But I think we'll pause it right about there. I just have to make sure that there's enough logs coming in. And they are, what are you, 71%. So that's not too bad. Uh, why are you, oh, you're doing maples because these are pines. Uh, how about we get the pines in first because they are a little bit quicker you don't have anything to do in here so these two can be paused as well yep you're paused now all right so let's um pause the episode over here i think we've gone through and done everything we wanted to do for the first one so we know what the uh what mods we're working with we've seen the map as well and uh, despite the uh, little crisis at the start of this uh, series we are still back in the game and in the future we'll, uh, we'll we'll start expanding to the surrounding areas all right so thank you very much for joining in this episode it is great to be back and i cannot wait to record some more episodes so thank you so much and i look forward to seeing you in the next episode